Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I got a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I hope everybody is doing fantastic. Let's get right on into it. Um, I do have it in a couple of categories. I got some food stuff. I've got some seasonal items. I've got some books. I can't believe I actually bought some books and OMG, the books that I bought. I don't even know why I picked them up and I'm kind of nervous about them. So I'm going to let you know a little bit about those. And I got some great other items for a dollar 25 guys. The Dollar Tree is just bringing back a lot of things that they had before that I have not seen in a hot minute and well worth, even with the extra quarter, is still worth that $1.25. Okay, so food items. I went ahead and picked up two more. Um, actually, I, I picked up two more of these, but these are not the ones I picked up and hauled recently. Um, those had different um, pasta shapes to them. I was looking for the elbow ones. I didn't see the elbow ones before, and, and I did give my daughter a couple of them, and I had one left over, and I tried it with some spaghetti sauce that I had in a jar, and it was actually pretty decent. So these are pretty good to um, have on hand if you don't want to wait for all the boiling and mess up pots and things like that. This is the Barilla, and they are ready pasta, fully cooked, elbows, 60 seconds, guys, 60 seconds. For $1.25, it's still a great deal. And the expiration date on both of these are July 13th of 2023. If you can even see that, let me see if I can get it up there. I don't know what the sliding it will be on there or not. But yes, I picked up two of these um, for, I'm gonna make probably some macaroni salad and whatever else, I don't know. But to have them on hand, um, they got, got a good shelf life and I'm pretty happy with them for $1.25, I thought they were great. I also picked up a little bit of candy. I only picked these up because these are my faves. Um, I put it on my community tab. I'm trying not, not to rattle these. Um, I love these fudge palmers. These are probably the only palmers, you got there the fudge, that I actually eat these candies, but I'll put them in a little dish and you know, I'll have a few here and there. Um, I love this one and they've got cookies and creams. They've got the regular milk chocolates. Now it's not a huge bag. It's a 4.5 ounce bag. Um, I don't even see the expiration date, but honestly, they will be gone pretty, pretty fast. Uh, I'm sure it's on here hiding from me like they always do. It has some kind of information right here. Let me see if I can, oh, good before eight of 2024. So yes, picked up one thing of fudge chocolates and then I always, always get these Tootsie Rolls because I love the um, the little uh, tin can and it's just enough to have one to pop here and there. Um, this one here has little sayings on it. It's chocolate midges with conversation messages and it has the little bank there for it. Um, I always pick these up. I'm probably gonna put this in my daughter's, um, and I'm sorry for that glare, her, um, Valentine basket that I'm thinking about making. I did get a red one for them, so I'm not sure how that's gonna be. I also found this cute little thing right here. I was like, oh my goodness, how stinking cute is this right here? Now, I don't know if people have been hauling these. If they have, I haven't seen it, but it's got little messages like massage night, go out for dinner, um, go stargazing, romantic dinner, play a game, slow dance, movie night, give each other foot rubs and you flip the little dial. This right here is just cute to have on hand for hubby, for boyfriend, for whatever. I think that was pretty doggone cute. And for $1.25, you know, I had to have it. And on that note, I think I, yeah, I also picked up this little dude and it didn't have a sticker on it, but when I got up there, she charged me $1.25, but it's a little die. And it also has the little things. Now I'm gonna probably be put it in conjunction. I know this has a spin one, but they look like they have pretty much of the same things or you can add them on. So this one has movie night, foot rub, a hug, um, hold hands, kiss, a back rub. Um, what am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I thought this and this right here um, for a buck 25 are just so adorable for Valentine's. Who says the Dollar Tree can't keep you on point when it comes to the love month? They've got some awesome, awesome things, okay? All right, I did get one more um, seasonal thing. I picked up another one of these Nomi's. Um, 
it just says it's a decor decor piece by um, Green Bar Industries. I was thinking about putting this in my daughter's Valentine basket. I'm not quite sure. I did pick up one last year and I used them as door stoppers around the holidays to keep my doors, um, you know, open because they seem, they kind of tilt over if I don't have a little stopper. So these usually work for that. And I just thought this one was cute with the little ponytails. Um, it does have a pretty good heaviness to it. So yeah, for $1.25, I got a Nomi. All right, I think that's all of the um, Valentine's or seasonal things that I got. The rest of it is pretty much home or books and um, educational stuff. So the educational things, um, I happen to see these little flashcards and I have been trying to find something for my grandson that would be, now this does say pre-K and that's, you know, probably a three to four year old um, kid and he's one. <laughs> so I did, I am jumping the gun a little bit, but I thought it's never too early to start. Um, he may catch on, he may not, but I do want to give him an advantage and start working with him on it. So they had all different ones. Um, I think there were six different ones with shapes, with, um, they had numbers, my first um, words. I think I got the first words. Here's the first words. It had like six or seven different ones, but I was like, I can't get them all because they, they might be too soon to get them. But I did pick up this one here, which was the first words. And um, because, you know, oh, here's, they tell what they are. They had the colors, the letters, the shapes, the numbers, and the first words. That's what, what they had on them. And I picked out the first words and I picked out the colors because I feel like he could learn his colors pretty quick. And the first words, there's 36 cards in here, guys. That is awesome. And I hope they're gonna be good. I'll open up one and show you what they look like. Um, flash cards, they say collect them all. Uh, it's distrib distributed by the Green Bar Industries. Um, yes, it is for pre-K on and up, but like I said, it is never too early to start um, teaching um, the words and colors, and they're even in a little kind of plastic thing here, and I love it. This is what I was looking for one time before. I had bought some Sesame Street ones, and they were not this way. I wanted one with like the solid color and possibly like a shape, and here that even has teal. I mean, the colors they've got today. I don't remember teal when my children were growing up. I mean, I'm sure it was there, but I was trying to get them red, yellow, blues, and greens. But so we got the colors. And then of course we've got the first words and he's talking, trying to talk. So I thought those would be pretty cool to have on hand right away. Okay, so this, I bought three of these because they're $1.25. Don't know why I was enthralled about it. I even went to my mom and I said, did you think I should buy these? And I said, they're so nice. So I'm gonna show you the little, I'm gonna just zoom in. I'm gonna show you that binder. Um, and I'm before I tell you what they are, <laughs> they have all the little things in there and, and little tabs and, Whoops, did you see that right there? That's Spanish for something that I'm going to talk about. Um, it's not all in Spanish, but it has different um, things. So guys, they have the tabs and what this is, and I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish that um, they would have had this kind of stuff when my daughter was pregnant. This here is called the Nine uh, Pregnancy Countdown Journal. And basically you can count down the nine months and I like the way this one is because it's just kind of carefree, easygoing journal. And when I saw it, I thought, oh my gosh, if she would have had this and I would have had one to journal with her in my, um, her nine months as a, as a glamour, I thought this was so cute. So I know I have nieces and nephews and, and my daughter may one day and my son, you know, there might be some little babies coming along. And I thought for $1.25, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up because even um, if I don't have it in my immediate family, I'm having all the time people saying, hey, such and such is pregnant. Um, you're invited to the baby shower. What an awesome gift this is, okay? So it does not tell me because it's got a piece on here of how much it was before. Um, but basically it just says a pregnancy countdown journal is a place to make every day count as you count down to the big day. You can't speed the pregnancy along, along, so why not take a little time to enjoy the experience as it unfolds? I love that. Jot down your favorite baby names, mark milestones, and get to know the new Fabulous You times two. How awesome is that? So this is called The Nine, um, and it does have, it says a pregnancy countdown journal by Kelly S-O-P-P, -P, SOP. 
and it has something on here it says potter style i don't know what that means it's copyrighted um in 2011 which is fine with me because it's all pretty much the same um, i'm not going to open up each page but i just loved it it's got like join the club it's in a spiral i love the spiral because it's easier to keep open and it just has the, the different things on it i didn't buy not just one i bought all of them that were there there was two and i bought three so if my daughter or my son has a baby they get pregnant and they say they're gonna have a baby i'm definitely gonna keep one for me to follow along with them and i bought an extra one just for a gift to someone who may be expecting a baby in the near future um so i'm hoping i'm not uh, drumming up anything in unintentionally but for a dollar 25 little under four bucks i got three great items as gifts so there you go check out your book section at the dollar tree it's awesome okay um on that note i did pick up one little other thing that i thought was awesome if you went on my community tab i did put the dollar tree has some awesome posters they have boxes and boxes of different styles uh there was so many of them i couldn't pick it out but i i love um the astrology the at the the sky with all the um zodiac signs so when i saw this one you can kind of see a little bit of there there that's the Aquarius let's see if I can say anything else in there and that was Capricorn I think that was there yeah and is there anything else that shows or not but now this one here just basically says it's a wall um, poster it's 24 by 36 inches if you can see that I know the glares are 34 by six then I might use this in a background or just put it up on my wall and for a dollar 25 um Hobby Lobby Michaels even five below these things right here are like four bucks five bucks a dollar 25 so i think that's going to be pretty cool and it just looks like this that's going to be the actual look of it and it just has all of the zodiac things and i thought how cute is that i gotta have that for a dollar 25. okay the rest of everything i got other than one item is pretty much um home decor or more signs like i need them but i did pick up one thing um for cosmetics because i was completely out of them i love these assured 100 percent cotton um, rounds. I love to take my makeup off with them. I also use them when I put fingernail polish on. There is 80. Now, I remember when they used to be 150. I remember when they went to 100. And guys, look at that. Now it's 80 of them for $1.25. So you deal with it. You, you need it, you need it. I probably could have got this a little bit cheaper at another store, but I needed them because I was completely out and I had waited to the last minute. And these right here work wonders taking off eye makeup with, um, you know, eye makeup remover. Um, I love these, so I went ahead and grabbed one of those. Okay, the next thing was a new item to me. I had never seen this. I don't even know if I've seen people hauling it. Maybe they have, I just haven't caught it yet. But look at this right here. And I have got a couple of these signs. This this uh, juke is a little bit wiry here. Um, but I have a lot of these little signs that's been saying laundry, twenty open 24 hours. Um, all these different sayings, but when I saw this one here, I fell in love with it. First of all, look at the little pegs. These little pegs, you can hang stuff on them. The saying, bathhouse, relax, soak, escape, um, uh, soap and towels, extra. Um, you know, even if you wanted to do something and you wanted to take off, look how cute they've got the little screws that you can pull those off and maybe mix and mingle them. Um, I just thought it was awesome. It just says it's a wall hook and it's um, distributed by Greenbrier International, and I just love it. So I'm going to find a place to stick this because I thought it was too cute to pass up for $1.25. If you look on my community tab, they had other different designs. I made myself only purchase one because I'm, until I figure out what I'm gonna do with all the signs that I purchased over the last couple years, I'm not gonna keep buying them. I'm just not gonna do it because I need to do, use the ones I have. This right here is summing up my year less what less monday more friday <laughs> i think everybody is going to fill this with me mondays regardless if you're working or if it's just a busy day for chores and you're going back to school college whatever this right here is my saying for 2022 oh 2023 um less mondays more fridays i got to get into saying that because here it is already almost a whole full month in 2023 so when i saw this i had seen people hauling these before but i never found any of them and this one here was in a random spot in the store i picked it up i'm like 
really and i looked all over for more because i wanted some different sayings but for a dollar 25 this is going straight into my office i love the colors of it i love the font of it and i definitely wish i could have less mondays and more fridays at 5 p.m and after right okay you know you know you know i started doing dollar tree hauls because of these things like this, these baskets. So they bring in them back, guys. This right here, I love the kind of basket weave on this. I love the deepness of it. These are definitely going to be under my bathroom sinks um, to put collectibles and things I don't know quite yet what it is. Um, they are by the Essentials, um, Storage Essentials. Look at that right there. It's a new tag on it. And I thought these were awesome. Now they came in different colors. They had that teal blue or teal green. They had black, white. I wanted this pretty, pretty pink. So I'm into this baby pink all of a sudden. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe there is going to be a little girl coming someday. So not only did I get these, I also had to pick up these. And I picked up three of these um, different ones that are a different um, style. Look at that. I love the way they are just perfect. This could be for hand towels, which is probably what I'm thinking about doing. Um, it could be for actual, you know, just whatever I want it to be. So I got one, two, three of these and a couple of these to coordinate to put under my bathroom sink. And I love it because I have not been seeing any um, baskets at all at my Dollar Trees. And I was like, please bring them back because they're still durable and they're, they're so cheap. And not only are they bringing back those guys, they brought back the big, 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 humongous, I mean, over my head. Um, let me see if they have the dimensions on this. I hope they do. It's, it just says bucket and it doesn't tell me how big it is, but these are monstrous and I have almost every single color. Now I only picked up this teal green and this beautiful pink because I was thinking about doing something as, you know, for one whole bathroom in these colors here um, for coming into the spring time. I'm, I'm really leaning towards that and maybe do some splashes of this teal green. So yes, guys, run. Don't walk to your Dollar Tree because they have the baskets back again for $1.25. You cannot go wrong with that. So with that said, guys, I hope you're doing a fantastic. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video. And until the next one, bye and have a wonderful day. Love you guys.